You know, it may seem like an outdated trade, but metalsmiths aren't just at Colonial Williamsburg. Now that's right. This morning, Rochelle's going to give us inside access to this very rare business. Rochelle. Yeah, guys. So the big takeaway from all of this is if you want to go into blacksmithing or even try it, you better be able to stand the heat. Take a look at what the owners of Beach Blacksmith in Norfolk are able to do. Sparks will fly. These are the sounds and sights of blacksmithing. You'll need patience, precision, and a little practice for this line of work. Nathan Walker of Beach Blacksmith in Norfolk says there's one thing that surprises people the most when they come in to take classes. Spoiler alert. It's glowing red and just inches away from his bare hands. The range of temperatures that we work with, most people are not used to that. The bar could be 2,600 degrees right here, but because the iron is not uh, conductive, it doesn't transfer down into your hand. So if you go to the Chrysler and you, you see uh, the glass blowers, they're working with the same temperature ranges that I'm working with. In order to heat the metal to those levels, smiths use what's called a forge. But the inside of the forge looks kind of like molten lava. It's similar to what they use on space shuttles, only they use more of a, um, a foam insulating. So it keeps the outside of this forge about 600 degrees, while the inside around 3,000. So pretty, pretty convenient. It's an art that's thousands of years old and thousands of degrees using metals and woods to create something new and completely unique, all while keeping it cool. There's going to be lots of smoke, lots of fire. Now I'll tell you guys, I was worried for my hair, you see I got a lot of it, and my eyebrows with all of that fire and all those sparks, but it was spectacular to see it go from just a regular piece of metal that you might see on the street to an actual knife. Now the shop also offers blacksmithing classes if anyone is interested and if anyone can stand the heat. Guys? 